So, it's been a while since I talked about this, hasn't it? Cue the intro. Hi guys, Elephant TV here is about to talk about something I haven't said for five years. The CGI reboot of Brum. But the old video could use a retooling, so let's get started. The original Brum was a British live action series that used a real life small car where Brum goes on adventures in the world of Big Town, which is Birmingham in real life. Developed by Ragdoll, who also created Rosie and Jim and In the Night Garden. I loved British cartoons as a kid. Despite the fact that I live in Australia, I grew up with a wide range of them like Thomas, Bob the Builder, Postman Pat, and Sean the Sheep to name a few. What made Brum stand out was the fact that the characters had no dialogue, making it feel like a mime show, but has narration that helps keeps the story flowing. The series ended on November 4th, 2002, leaving Brum on reruns and then never again, and it only gets worse from there. In November 2016, DHX Media had purchased Ragdoll Worldwide, which caused them to make... Yep, a reboot of Brum in CGI, animated by Wild Brain Entertainment. So, my thoughts? Well, as much as I want to like it, I have to say it's not very good. Let me explain. The animation, while it tries to have a storybook style, it doesn't feel as imaginative as it should. And as a result, not only does the animation feel unfinished, but judging by Brum's design, it looks quite ugly as whenever his eyes move, it tries to be endearing like in the original, but instead, he almost looks like a snail on wheels. The backgrounds in this show feels like a load of nothing because most of the backgrounds are plain white with not many trees or objects, which makes the areas Brum's visiting not that engaging or interesting. The original Brum had a sense of adventure, where Brum didn't go to the same spot twice, which gave me the feeling of wanting to go outside more. What a great lesson to teach kids. CGI Brum focuses more on destinations and not on the adventure. Sure, it teaches kids that we can't constantly go on detours, but as Ferris once said, Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. The very worst part is that it's not set in Big Town, and Brum's got new friends which are animals and not Big Town citizens. I gotta say, it doesn't give Brum enough social interactions. And if kids don't get enough social interactions, then they might not be confident to make friends in real life. All in all, this doesn't make a good sign for a reboot. I mean, I understand this is meant to entertain children, but you don't have to downgrade them. To quote Cadicarus, kids may be very easy to entertain, but they are not stupid. So I'll just say, just stick with the original. Thanks for watching this video. Please sure to subscribe, and if you agree with my thoughts on Brum, feel free to like and share this video.